He sounds like a jock or a 40 year old man. To me, he sounds like a jock. I'm like, he sounds like that stereotypical, stereotypical popular jock. I'm like, and he sounds like he's a, he sounds like a college student. I'm like, you're supposed to be in middle school, not in high school or in college. I'm like, get it right. Thumbs up, Japanese. Two thumbs down for his English. All right, the two helpers for the Mew Mews. Keijiro or Shirogane. I don't know how to say his first name. Keijiro. He's among one of the oldest of the group. He's like, uh, I think, 21. I don't remember exactly anyone who's seen the show. Just put what his actual age is on the bottom in the comments. And just... He's really nice. He's more, uh, late, more, uh, I don't know, like, more late. He's more of a gentleman towards the Mew Mews than Shirogane is, and just, he's a nice guy, and I would love to hang around him. He's a bit of a, he's really smart, too. It's just, I would, he like, I like him. His Japanese voice suits him really well, like, the kind, wise guy. His English is voiced by the same guy who does quiche. You can tell because it's the same guy, his voice is on a different pitch. He sounds like that brainiac guy from another world. Ritz is character big time. Big, big, big time. Thumbs up, Japanese. Thumbs down for, J for English. Ryo, or oh, Shirogane, I don't know how to say his first name, like I said. He is more rude towards the Mew Mews. He's, he's, his father is the whole reason this project existed. I don't know why he shows, shows feelings towards Ichigo, which I, a lot of people have seen, and also towards Lettuce, also. And it's just, it, he is really good. The voice suits him really well. And if anyone who has seen the Japanese version of Naruto, which is another anime I like, he does, it's the same voice. And it suits him really well. It fits his, like, stern yet caring nature, which I liked. His English... Just... One word. Or just a few. Stereotypical loner. And a smart guy. It's just... His voice sounded good. It's just... He sounded like a loner. Like, he didn't... Antisocial for some reason. And it bugged me. I'm like, I want to hang around you if you acted like that. It's just, I don't know, his was the most puzzling for me. Thumbs up, Japanese. Middle for his uh, English. The last one I'm going to do for this is the Blue Knight. Who is the ally of the Mimus? Who his secret identity is? You figure that out. <laughs> He's... He was among one of my favorites of the group. He is really caring for Ichigo. He really protects her, hence why he's a knight. And just, it's a soothing voice, and I liked it. And if you're wondering, the voice actor for him also does Deep Blue, Messiah, and 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 him. And he and his voice actor was the only one to have three characters. The others just had like one or two. And just his English voice. For a minute, his English voice, one thing comes at night. Kristen Bale wannabe. It sounded like his boy, Kristen Bale's voice, like he does for the Dark Knight. For the Bat, for, for the Dark Knight Batman live action movies. It just, it sounded like that. I'm like, is the guy who does the Dark Knight in this? And like, and when I looked it up, it wasn't. I was like, are you serious? Like, it doesn't sound soothing at all. They got the storm and night part right. It's just they forgot the gentle caring part, which... Yeah, that was a big downer for me. Thumbs up. Japanese. Triple thumbs down for English. Alright. Finally done with the, with the voices. Okay, like I said before with quiche, puns. Ugh, they use so many puns in this. Like, I don't remember what they were, but Quiche was among the most who used them. Like, I don't remember, 
what they were exactly, but just they used it, them in the most unnecessary parts. Like the parts where they're most most serious, they said, oh, let's lighten the mood and add a pun in. I'm like, that doesn't add any sense. Like, what the heck? That really annoys people off to the degree that they put really, really, really harsh comments on YouTube, which I can perfectly understand. Puns, that's all I have to say about it. They're funny in some places. Misuse them in most places, not funny at all. One minute, please. The edits. The edits, I think, to me, were among the things. Like, the transformation scenes. Like, Lettuce is seen half of the time she doesn't have her outfit on. They cut her whole scene out because of that. I'm like, come on, kiss it, I don't care if someone doesn't have any clothes on while they're transforming. And they also removed the Mew Mew marks, which each one's different, it's on a different location on their body. They removed the Mew Mew marks, and it's just, it, they got rid of Keisha's hip lines, which made them look really, 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 really hot. Which was among the le my most concern. It, it, they changed the attacks. They changed the names, the names and all that. Like I've said, and just so many unnecessary edits to make people hate it. If you're wondering, the original series had 52. They only went up to the first 26. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. One minute, please. From what I've seen of the series, there's wishes of a renewal, like there's like two petitions going on right now. I'm sorry, I don't have, I wish I could have the links for them, if I wish I had the links for them. Which is a petition to the people in Japan for to do, to do, like to do the second season, or for us English fans to do a new, just the whole show done by another company like Funmation of the whole show. I'm like, Funimation does amazing dubs like Full Metal Alchemist, Soul Eater. If they, like, they would do a better job than what four kids did. It's just, yeah, and I just hope one day that they might actually do it. One minute, please. Right. What I, what I've done with the voices? For the Mew Mews, for some of them, Zakuro, not make her like a stereotypical model. Ichigo, not made her much as an airhead. Min, not that much snobby, not that much bratty for for pudding, and not too much of a smart smarty pants for mint for uh for lettuce. Pie, not that lose the British accent. Quiche, keep the tone, but not as girly and tart. Make it less bratty. Deep uh Keijiro, use a different voice actor, uh, Shirogane, don't be a loner, Mark, uh, Messiah, don't sound like you're in college, the Blue Knight, be a little more caring, and it's just, and, one minute please, and that's all I have to say about the, <coughs> about the char characters and whatnot. Rating for this anime is for me ten for the Japanese ten out of ten, but since they already they did for did the first season, twenty first twenty six episodes, which I consider a season of the show, I would do it like about a three point five. Yeah, and that's about it. Oh yeah, and storylines. And partly because of storylines, because because the aliens, the aliens originally lived on Earth, and they had to move to a different planet and all that. For the English, man, it's like a stereotypical alien invasion, which really screws up the point. The only good thing about the aliens in the English is that they use the term Cineclon, which is an actually cool name for an alien race. And that's all I have to say. Rating, and that's why I give the English a 3.5. Without it, I would just... Give it a one because of the voices. Alright. See ya, everybody. This is my anime review. I hope I, I hope to see you guys on my 10th anime review. I hope you guys are guessing what what the anime review is. Put comments on the bottom. But put comments on what you think of this review. And I hope you see you guys later on my next movie review. Which I hope for coming soon. See ya.